Using shapes. In the last video we used the underused curve class to create interesting meshes. But there's another underused class that you can use to create meshes. The shape class. This class extends the path class. If you've ever worked with the HTML5 Canvas 2D API then the methods should be familiar. Shoot along to this address for the starting template for this video. The first step, as with the previous video, is to create a function that will generate a mesh when passed a name. So enter function create mesh name if mesh is not equal to undefined scene dot remove mesh. Let shape equals new three dot shape. Let width, height, x, y, radius. Const pos equals new three dot vector three. Let rot equals zero. Const extrude settings equal depth eight, bevel enable true, bevel segments two, steps two, bevel size one, bevel thickness one. Let geometry, geometry equals new three dot extrude buffer geometry, shape extrude settings. Mesh equals new three dot mesh geometry material. Mesh dot position dot copy pause mesh dot rotation dot z equals rot scene dot add mesh now top prize to those students who notice that at this stage we simply have an empty shape and that means if we call this function we will not generate a mesh for our simplest shape let's create a square enter switch name case square width equal 80 shape dot move to zero zero shape dot line to zero width shape dot line to width width shape dot line to width zero shape dot line to zero zero pos dot x equals minus 40 pos dot y equals minus 40 break now we can create our first mesh from a shape using create mesh square let's see what just happened we enter the create mesh function with name as square when we get to the switch statement, our empty shape is updated. First we move to 0, 0. Then we create a line from 0, 0 to 0, 80. Then to 80, 80. On to 80, 0. And finally back to 0, 0. In other words, we create a square. Then we set position to minus 40, minus 40 to center the square at the origin. Now when we reach the end of the function, we can create a mesh from this using the extrude geometry class. We'll be looking in more detail at this class later in this section, so I won't explain the parameters at this point, but we could use the shape to create a renderable object in other ways. Let's add a second parameter to this function, add type. Where we create the mesh, change the code to switch type, case extrude, geometry equals new three dot extrude buffer geometry, shape extrude settings, Mesh equals new three dot mesh geometry material break case shape geometry equals new three dot shape buffer geometry shape mesh equals new three dot mesh geometry material break case lines geometry equals new three dot buffer geometry set from points shape dot get points mesh equals new three dot line geometry new three dot line basic material break case points geometry equals new three dot buffer geometry set from points shape dot get points mesh equals new three dot points geometry new three dot points material color zero x ff 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 size two break i think it's time to add a gui replace the create mesh line in the init function with const options equals name square type extrude const GUI equals new dat GUI GUI add options name square on change value create mesh value options type GUI dot add options type shape extrude points lines on change value arrow create mesh options dot name value Create mesh options.name options.type. 
Now you can display the shape as an extrusion, a simple flat shape, an outline or a cluster of points. For a flat shape we use the shape geometry class, lines uses the buffer geometry class and the set from points method. Then instead of using the mesh class we use the line class. This needs a special type of material. Here we use line basic material but you could use line dash material to draw dash lines. The points method uses the same technique as lines to generate the geometry but then uses the points class and a points material. A pen with many more examples is at this address. You can see a heart, a map of California, a fish and many more. Take a little time to review them all. Looking at the smiley option, notice that the shape can have holes. By default the holes property is an empty array but you can add to this array by creating a path and adding to it then pushing this path to the holes array of your shape. As a challenge can you create a diamond shape? This will only need you to use the simplest methods move to and line to. Make your diamond 140 high and 100 wide. Pause the video now and give it a try. My solution is case diamond height equals 70 width equal 50 shape dot move to minus width 0 shape dot line to 0 height shape dot line to width 0 shape dot line to 0 minus height shape dot line to minus width 0 break. I made height and width half the overall size because we're centering at 0 0 then moving to half the width or height for each vertex. This video comes from my pack course. Find the course on Udemy by following the links in the description.